June is Immigrant Heritage Month, and as a country of immigrants, this is a great time for us all to celebrate our own immigrant heritage, as well as celebrating the heritage and the culture of the many immigrants living right here in our community. Last week in Pittsburgh, we celebrated World Refugee Day. This honors a subset of immigrants who left everything behind because of a well-founded fear of persecution because of race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion. Here in Pittsburgh, we celebrated World Refugee Day virtually with music, songs, dance, poetry, and readings. We also heard from local leaders, including our mayor, Bill Peduto, as well as Rich Fitzgerald, Mike Doyle, and many others. In contrast to these celebrations, during the past week, we've received some upsetting news about the U.S. immigration system. Now, earlier on in this federal administration, we were told that the problem was with people who came here illegally, not people who were here by legal means. This particular approach is what led to the now infamous practice of placing children in cages in our southern border. Later, there was a shift, and the shift was, it's not a matter of people came here illegally or people came here legally. The problem was that we didn't want immigrants coming here unless they were highly educated, highly skilled, and preferably had some financial means. And because of that, our refugee program has been decimated. Currently, there are very few refugees being permitted to enter the United States. Now we're being told that the problem isn't refugees or immigrants who have means or who are desirable or undesirable. Now we're being told that even immigrants who are coming here who are highly educated and highly skilled should not be welcome in our country. And because of that, the administration is now scaling back and possibly dismantling the H-1B visa program that allows immigrants to come here to work. The good news is that we live in a democracy. If you're unhappy with these immigration policies, I urge you to reach out to your government representatives and let your voice be heard. We have the ability to enact change. Please celebrate Immigrant Heritage Month by celebrating our country's immigrants.